Hello today and I'm going to be going through my Commodore 64 games collection today um, So let's make a start shall we? So first game Daily Thompson's Decathlon <laughs> I have not played this for a long time I haven't done a review of it yet um, As I say I don't know if half these tapes work or not I haven't tested them yet Bit of paint on the on the outside of the tape but I mean, the case for its age and in bad condition. Anyway, what do we have next? Avenger! Um, yeah. Got the instructions, a little bit dirty on it, but tape looks alright. <laughs> the Simpsons! Um, what's this one? Bart versus the Space Mutants. Hmm, well, I remember these old big boxes, look. Cassette. Cassette's in actually good condition. Um, bag and the instructions. Very good. Um, Batman. Cost $9.95 from Software Plus back in the day. Um, tape looks in pretty good condition. Once again, we've got the bag and the button, the instruction menu. I mean, for its age, you've got to expect, I think this came out about 1989, so I don't know, it probably was bought back in the day, but, at 1989, I don't know. So, Ivan Iron Man Stewart, Super Off-Road. Um, once again, taped in good nick, and got the receipt in it. How much was it? Um, I don't know, it's so faded, I can't see it. You get the instructions. Oh, it looks a bit of poster. It's got all the old stuff in here, so that's good. A classic. Rainbow Island. Yep, tape in good condition. Instructions and the bag still. Alright, so what do we have here? Now we have a compilation pack. Three. Limited edition chart attack from US Gold. Um, I know the box looks a little bit manky at the moment, but cassettes. Well, cassettes ain't bad. Turbo Outrun, um, Ghouls and Ghosts, and Moonwalker. Well, Moonwalker's a bit crap. And we have, what do we have here? Oh, what this is. Oh, I don't know. No, no instructions in the box. So. Well, you got to remember this. This is back in the, like the eighties, the early nineties. So it was over twenty-five years ago. So you got to expect things to be missing or worn or whatever. It's okay. The Dam Busters. Well, this is a very old game. I know that. So this is the original packaging. Um, there's no instructions or nothing, but we have the cassette. I mean, for its age, when was this released? Um, I, I gather this was released, I'd say about 84, 85 time. Um, I'm not going to look at it too much, but for its age, I suppose, you know, it's over, say, about 30 years old. I mean, it's you're going to expect it, and you know you can't just um, look after things. You're going to use it and play it, and you know you can't expect to buy something and just stick it on the shelf. Hopefully, one of these people will go, oh, it might value in price one of these days. That's the point. Um, P47 Thunderbolt. Um, case. Oh, box ain't in bad condition. So we got a box. So, oh. No, uh, this ain't the original tape. <laughs> um, this is actually recorded on a C60. So the tape ain't original. wonder why that is. Oh, that's a shame. So everything's, everything was looking good apart from the actual tape itself. Okay. So the tape is not legit. <laughs> get that back in. So... I've done a review on that, by the way. Um, mm. Challengers. Challengers, yep. I had this on the Amstrad. Um, well. Right? V. 
Vic 20 blank programming cassette. Oh, I think things are going bad for worse now. And what do we have on here? Another cassette. Not original. Um, Pro Tennis Tour, Stunt Car Racer, Super Ski, Fighter Bomber, Fighter Bomber Levels. So that's all the cassette, but... Um, so this can't be... I don't know. Where did that come from then, I wonder? I know that I had this back in the day. This is not the original cassette. No instructions at all. I'll kick off on that, apparently. So that's not original. But... This looks original. Operation Wolf on its in its original box. And look at that. We get the instructions. And in another case, we find a of tape of Operation Wolf. Looks a little bit yellow in on the well it ain't, it's just a little bit off colour on the side, but the tape itself looks fine. So we get more instructions. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I know the box is a bit roughed up now, but you know, it's just on the sides. You, you gotta expect that after all these years. What do we have here? R type! Oh, R type. There we go. Box is a little bit ripped, but. So we get the instructions. Looks a bit very worn. But the cassette. This side first. I suppose this cassette doesn't look in good. It, it actually. You know, it's in fine condition, just as this side first. Obviously, they didn't put A or B side on it. But, yeah, the tape's fine. So, what do we have next? Robocop on cartridge. Cartridge looks in good condition. If it works, is another thing. I still, you know... I haven't gone through, I've played a few of these games, I've tested a few, so I'm going to be alright. Instructions in a bag, ocean bag, yeah. What do we have here? Oh, we'll get some compilations now. Night Moves, and this game, this has got Slice Spy, Secret Agent, Shadow Warriors. The Night Breed and a mid Midnight Resistance. I believe this came through with the Commodore 64 when you bought it. The tapes, wow. The tapes look in good condition. Um, so we take tape two of. Yeah, Spy Spy. This is Night Breed. Um, Shadow Warriors. Midnight Resistance, that was a good game. Slice Spy Secret Asia, that's tape one. And we have instructions. So yeah, I think the box, the box itself, is in pretty good condition. A few sc scuff marks there, but for its age, you can't expect perfection. Dizzy collection, five game Dizzy collection, mm, by Codemasters. So what do we have here? Dizzy, fast food Dizzy. Fantasy World Dizzy, Treasure Island Dizzy, Magic Land Dizzy. So all Dizzy games. Right? And got two cassettes, uh, uh, Fast Food Dizzy, Treasure Island Dizzy, Fantasy World Dizzy, Magic Land Dizzy. Okay. So we get Dizzy Fast Food, Treasure Island Dizzy, Fantasy World Dizzy. Hope one ain't missing. Unless that's Dizzy. No, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I think it's just it ain't called fast food, Dizzy. It's just called fast food. So yes, we do have all five games there, which is good. <laughs> um, we got two two copies of these mind benders. Unless did come with three with the Commodore sixty four. Um, so we get confusion, split personalities, snare. Trivial Pursuits, Genius Edition. Can we get the instructions in the back? So, yeah, and then the tapes are in very good, very good condition. Excellent, probably because it never got played much. <laughs> As I say, it came with two copies of it. I don't know what 
wide is too, but even though it's still got the same good condition, got the manual in the bag, so yeah. Okay, now we come to some good compilation packs. The In Crowd. That's a good pack that was. Huh? So we have Karnoff, yeah, that was a crap game. Grizor, Barbarian. What's that, The Last Ninja? I must do a review on that. Predator, Target Renegade, Platoon, and Combat School. I think I've done a review on nearly all of them besides The Last Ninja, which I must do. It says special six pack, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. Eight games on that. That is a good pack. Um, solid gold. Yeah, so on here we have Gauntlet, good game. Ace of Aces, good game. Leaderboard, good game. Winter Games, good game. And Infiltrator, that was alright. Um, so we have the cassettes, yeah. They're in good condition. And we have um, an instruction manual, which has got a bit of writing on it. It's got all the tape um, counters on it, which is handwritten. Okay. <laughs> Covers a little bit ripped, but what do you expect for this amount of years? Um, Supreme Challenge. So what do we have on this? Look at the back. Elite! Classic Elite, oh, which I've never played. <laughs> Star Glider, Tetris, Ace 2, and the Sentinel. I've never played the Sentinel either. Um, Star Glider, I think I vaguely remember. But yeah, not a bad pack. Oh, so got, it cost six ninety nine originally from Software Plus, and another complicated. Ah, oh, this was an awesome compilation pack. Yeah, we are the champions. So on here we have Super Sprint, Renegade, Rampage, IK Plus, and Barbarian. I had this for the Amstrad also. And the games weren't bad on the Amstrad. Actually, um, I thought um, Renegade, the Amstrad version, was better. Rampage. Well, I think they were both great versions. IK Plus, it was better on the Commodore 64. Barbarian was another one that was good on both systems. Super Sprint, mm, I think I preferred the Commodore 64 version. Right, so that's all the compilation and the big boxes, actually. Now, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We got these, the dual case boxes. Um, so these ones are nice and interesting. Mask 2. Mars Crusaders, all right, and then there's another for that. Um, so it's cassette in good condition. We have the manual, I think that's the manual. That's a comic strip, I think. I don't know what that is, but it's interesting. Um, okay, so this is a classic. Well, it ain't probably, probably a lot of people ain't even heard of this. Power Struggle, I remember this, it only cost $2.99. Back in the day, yes, yeah, so this was a, this was a strategy game. Yeah, cassettes in good condition. Now I don't believe this was ever released on the Commodore 64, so it's in my it's in the Commodore 64's possessions, but. <laughs> and I think I know there's a good reason for this. The cassette, you see, it's been tip tipexed out on with, and so and it's been written with CBM on it, and I think I know why. But I'll come back to that later because I might find some more like that. Oh, cut this one! Ooh. Oh no, that's not good. This is a good game and all. This is mini putt. This is actually a very good golf game, it's all like miniature golf. Case is broke though. Um, but luckily the tape ain't after that drop. Tapes, mm, tapes in good condition. Yeah, it was a good game this was, I liked it. Um, yeah, so I just, I don't want to make, go into things too long, so I'll try and get tight. Oh, paper boy. Um, got the instructions in it. Tapes a little bit. No, tape's fine. It's just the labels are just a bit wrinkled, that's all, but tape looks fine. A good good version for the Commodore 64. 
football manager and look CBM 64128 has been written up the top and the cassette oh this has been um, sort of a, I don't know if this is the original it says football manager there but it looks someone in petting I think that is my actual handwriting actually but it was this was my mate so I, can, I don't know how my handwriting got on it um, football manager there has been written in pen and football manager 2 in there Uh, I, 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 I think I know the reasoning that I'm going to get into soon because I want to check through more of the tapes first. So Football Manager and Football Manager 2. But I honestly... F so I'm going to get into it in a minute because I think there's more like that. High Frontier. I've never played this game. Um, yeah, sorry. Instructions. Yeah, I don't remember this game. Might have to play it. Uh, let's get some screenshots on it, but no, I can't remember it. It looks like a a strategy game. I think it could be a strategy game. Oh no! Now this was a absolute shit game. The the prodigy, not to be confused by the great. Uh, music band but this game was absolute shit I did a review on this I think I've done it I can't remember if I've reviewed it for the Amstrad or the Commodore actually but once again I it looks like um, big black pen has been along so I honestly don't think this was the original Commodore 64 version because the, that's been tipexed out for some reason and I will want to explain I didn't realise it was that many like this anyway oh brilliant this was the best conversion I've ever played on a home computer the best, cur the best version was the Commodore 64 version in my opinion and um, yeah, because sets in good condition, a little bit wrinkled there, but and you know, you also get the audio original soundtrack. <laughs> I remember that. I also bought this for the Amstrad CPC, and God, that was fucking shit. <laughs> I'm going to the Amstrad version now. Ah, uh, supercars. Once again, there's a big black mark there. Makes me think this ain't the original. No, black mark there. So this has been um, actually. Yeah, it's got the instructions. Oh, it's been some written on the inside. I don't know, but some of these tapes are not original. The growing pains of Adrian Mole. <laughs> computer game yep that's definitely the Commodore tape it says Commodore on it but when we get another tape interestingly and this is a pirate tape you can see and this one's got the secret diaries of Adrian Mole on it okay so this is original but that ain't wonder where that come from And we get a compilation pack here. So we have Super Sprint, Championship Sprint, and Super Hang On. Mm, Super Sprint was good, Championship was good, and Super Hang On. Mm, the Commodore 64 version wasn't great, was it? And once again, this don't look like it's the original tape for the Commodore 64. It's been tipexed. So that's not they're not the original tapes. What about the box C? Where it should say Commodore that's been tip X'd out. Six shooters. It's a good compilation pack, so 
Mikey, Whizball, Terraquesta, Parallax, Head Over Hills, Hypersports. Good games on there. Um, it comes from Dixon's. Look at that. Oh, this is Dixon's exclusive. So we have Whizball, Head Over Hills, Terraquesta. Take looks in good nick. And on this one, Parallax, Hypersports, Mikey. Once again, tape looks in pretty good nick for its age. Five star. Spin Dizzy, Who Dares Wins 2, Three Weeks in Paradise, Zoids and Equinox. Okay, mm, what the hell? And if you look inside, whoa! Whoa! I don't, I honestly, this is my handwriting once again. <laughs> so, I'd see, realise how. Is this actually for the Commodore 64 or the Amstrad? It's been screwed out. I, I don't really know. I've got to check these because I've got totally different inside the tape. Um, then I've got more. Jeff Capes, Aliden, Blood, Cauldron, 3D to Blood Fiver, Crazy Comets, Dynamite Down, Hermit's Dumber Run, Attaching the Mutant Camels, Basil and Bond. So it looks like there's nothing on the cassette to tell me what they are. But this is an interesting one. I have to check that one out because I don't know what this one is. Right, so that's all the, um, the big box games. And now on to the budget titles. And we all know we all like our budget titles because they were cheap and you did not know what you was always getting by just, just because you look at the screenshot but a lot of these are um, also like when there was like expensive titles like for 99 they was re-released on budget so we got a few of these as well so let's go through them on the kicks label spy hunter can you see that uh, right here we go spy hunter is this Commodore 64 tape? Yes, so tape don't look in bad condition. So this is obviously days where you only paid what, $2.99 for them? Well, we'll go back earlier than that, now Mastertronic used to be $1.99. Joe Blade 2 for the Commodore 64. Um, yes, tape looks in good condition. Yep, it's definitely the original Commodore 64 tape. Shanghai Warriors. I can't remember. I think I had this on the Amstrad. Um, yep, it's the original tape for the Commodore. Um, ah, this was a great game. I really... One of my... You know, for a budget title, this was one of my best games on the Commodore 64. And that was Kickstart 2. It's a great game, this was. Um, tape looks a little bit yellowed. But, you know, I think... I've had, yeah, this is a good game, this one. I might have to give that one a play. I've reviewed it but I've never played this. I have played the first one on the Amstrad. Dan Dare 2. Um, Econ's Revenge. Um, tape looks in pretty good to see. Um, Nick. Hmm, okay. Ultimix by Kix. So on here we have leaderboard, world class leaderboard and leaderboard tournament. So we get three leaderboard games on this. That's pretty good. Tape's in good condition. And we have the receipt. How much did he pay for it? Don't know, I can't see it. Uh, 4 99 was paid for this originally. Don't know when. Yeah, 4 99 on there. From Boots. Of all places, from Boots. Oh, Ghostbusters on budget by Ricochet Mastertronic. Um, originally came out by Activision. I had the original version for the Amstrad, the proper, you know, proper box version. But this is definitely the Commodore 64 version. TS. I don't know why TS has been written on the cassette, but you know, the tapes generally. World Games. Now that was a good game. Um, yep, the original cassette, got the instructions in it, tape looks a little bit browned off, but apart from that, looks alright. ATV Simulator by Codemasters, 
Um, original cassette, then it's in good condition. A lot of these cassettes are in good condition actually. Deep Strike. Oh, I think I had this originally on the Amstrad. Uh, oh, blue cassette. And yes, the Commodore is the proper Commodore one. So they explained that, and I will explain why there might be a mix up of tapes, why they might not be original. Well, actually, no, I think. <laughs> but I will tell you. Destructo. Island of Dr. Destructo. Set a little bit yellow there, but I have to say, the abstract version was better. Much better, actually. <laughs> Eyeball. Oh, I couldn't stand this game. This was rubbish. It looks. <laughs> <laughs> my even my mate thought so because he's actually put if you look there I don't know if you can see it on the camera eyeball is shit <laughs> he's put there by firebird old telecom soft <laughs> tape looks in good condition though probably because it never got played because it was shit Monty on the run set in good condition Actually, it's the old, it doesn't look bad in bad condition. It's a good game, actually. Grand Prix Simulator. And by Codemasters. I originally had this on the Amstrad, and I thought the Amstrad version was better. I had two more courses on the Amstrad. Um, then we got Grand Prix Simulator 2. I honestly thought the first one was better. Take in very good condition, actually. Footballer of the Year, now that was a good game. Um, yep, a good set in good condition. Now, what do we have here? Video Minis by Mastertronic. I don't remember this one. So, original, well, a bit of yellowing on the tape, but tape looks fine to me. I've done a review on that one yet. I remember that game. Football Manager 2. Um, now that is definitely the Commodore 64 version. Nightmare. I had this on the Amstrad originally. And it looks like it's been tipexed. <laughs> right. There is a reason for this now, I'm going to let you into it now. Originally when I had an Amstrad, it broke, didn't it? My mate had the Commodore 64, and in the early 90s I did buy a Commodore 64. And I still had a lot of Amstrad games. So what happened was, I used to get his Commodore 64 tape, if it was the same game like Nightmare, I used to record his Commodore 64 version onto my Amstrad version, so, so I'm using the Amstrad tape, and now that to, now I've recorded the Commodore version on it. Obviously, I've tipped the Amstrad out. Which is, the orange was a giveaway because the orange represented Amstrad, and this is a flippy flip version. So, this version had the Amstrad version, and on the other side was the Spectrum version. It was the yellow represented Spectrum, and red represented Commodore 64 or 128 so that's what I did so basically this was originally an Amstrad tape but I recorded the Commodore 64 version onto it if there's Amstrad people watching this don't get pissed all right with me <laughs> I did have two Amstrads and they both broke so that's why I bought the Commodore 64 my mate had a load of Commodore 64 games that's probably what that's what I did Oh well, you live and learn, don't you? Anyway, little computer people. <laughs> oh dear. I think this is like a Cyberpack game. Yep, that's a definitely original um, Commodore 64 game. Um, that was a classic. That was a classic. Bruce Lee. I originally had this on the Amstrad. Um, yeah, takes in good condition. Finders Keepers, and look up the top there, written in, written, Commodore C64, so this was an Amstrad title, 
This was an Amstrad game I had, yeah. Look, look at that. That's a blatant giveaway, if you can see that. I've screwed out Amstrad. <laughs> um, not, all, not all the time it worked, because sometimes um, maybe the Commodore 64 tape was a bit longer than the Amstrad tape to load up. So sometimes it didn't work. So obviously sometimes I had to use a different tape to get it to work, for it to fit. So that's another way around it. But I kept the original box and just screwed it. Screwed out Amstrad and put Commodore in it. Right, Death Race. I remember that. Oh, Atlantis software. It's a bit yellowed up the top there, but tape wise looks alright. Might want to keep work. Silkworm. Yeah, that is blatant, in it? What I've done there, you can see at the top of the case, I've cut off the Amstrad. <laughs> so this was originally an Amstrad cassette yep I've even scribbled it out down the bottom there so <laughs> not original Beachhead well, that's a good game yep that's an effect it's original tapes alright uh, 4 in 1 sports what this one was um Rally driver, end zone, run for golden, soccer boss. And this, this was an Amstrad tape and all. <laughs> so I've got, I don't know where, I even obviously had it on. Or, I don't know, how did I end up with it? How would it end up here? If I originally sold my Commodore 64. Unless... He acquired them somehow. I don't know how he acquired them. So how would I end up with them? If, you know, if I, I would have it, I would have sold it originally with my Commodore 64. So how would I have all these? Perhaps I had a lot more. Because <laughs> there's only, well, I've only spotted a few, but not that many. Right. This is a Quattro pack. So we have Thunderbolt, SAS Combat Simulator, Ninja Massacre, and Arcade Flight Simulator. I honestly think, yep, yeah, this is original, Commodore 64. Summer Games, yeah, that's, of, that's original, yep, yeah, Commodore 64. It's bugging me, that is. How would, how would my mate end up with the Amstrad tapes? I don't know. Non Terra Quaters, I originally had this for the Amstrad, but this is definitely the original Commodore 64. Batman, the Cape Crusader. The tape, the cassette, the, ca the case looks a bit battered, but mm, yep, definitely the Commodore 64 version, alright. Desert Fox. I originally had this on the Amstrad in the bigger box. Actually, that was one of the US Gold games. Was that, that was actually good for the Amstrad. Um, original Commodore 64 tape, it looks good. Turbo Esprit, now this was definitely better on the Amstrad. Originally had it on the Amstrad. Um, blue cassette, yep, it's definitely a Commodore 64 tape, all right. Now we get to um, Ocean's um, budget label, which is the Hit Squad, Ocean Imagine. And by the looks of it, oh bloody hell, look at the state of that. That looks tight. Yeah, it definitely is because this was an. It's definitely ain't a Commodore 64 cassette box. You can tell it's been lobbed off. It was an Amstrad original. Well, it was. I bought it originally on the Amstrad, and that was the Amstrads. How, how did he wind up with it? That's something I uh, will never know. How he wound up with all these? Because I never sold him my Commodore 64. So I don't know. Unless I had. Unless I bought his original games. And he wound it up with these for some reason. I don't know, because here's another one. Enduro Racer. Originally was an Amstrad cassette. Yep, look. It says Enduro Racer, but that's where it said Amstrad, I guess. Ah, I might have to try these, actually. Because I might have only recorded it on one side, but the other side might have the Amstrad version on it. Might have to try that. Run the Gauntlet. Now that's another Amstrad 
One, you can tell. Oh, bloody hell, the cassettes. Bloody hell, look at that. That's definitely... This used to be the Monster Labyrinth read... This was a story tape. An old story tape. <laughs> How did that come about? I don't know. Bloody hell. Short Circuit. Now that's a proper Commodore 64 version. Yep, Commodore 64. Grange Hill. I had this on the Amstrad too. And this is definitely a Commodore 64 tape. Yep. A little bit grey there. But I don't know if some of these still work. Ah, oh, this was a classic. Street Surfer. This is definitely a Commodore 64 because I don't know if this was released on anything else. A little bit white and in, uh, yellow in there, but tape looks fine. This was a great game for the Commodore 64. It was absolutely rubbish on the Amstrad. Battle Valley. Um, Racket. Yep, definitely an original tape for the Commodore. Turbo Boat Simulator. Right. Now that's got a big black line there, so that only means one thing. Yep, Tipex there, Tipex there. This was an Amstrad original, but now the Commodore version got tapes on there. Manic Miner. Oh yeah, this tape looks a bit dirty, worn. But it's definitely the Commodore 64 version. Jet Set Willy 2. Yeah, that's the thing, is that? Yep, Commodore 64. Definitely the version. And the original Jet Set Willy. Um, yep, Commodore 64. Buggy Boy. It's Commodore 64 for definite. Yep, take to right original. Mini Office. Yes, I had this on the Amstrad. I did a review on this for the Amstrad actually. Um, definitely the Commodore 64 tape. Um, yeah. So what do we have? We have um, yeah, word processor, database, and spreadsheet. I've not tried this on the Commodore 64 yet. I can't actually. Probably because I can't find it on a ROM. I did try looking. Way of the exploding fist. And this is definitely the Commodore 64 version. Yep. Bomb Jack. Now this was this was better on the Amstrad, even better on the better played the Spectrum version too. That was better in the Commodore 64. Reason why? Because I felt the sprites were too big for the playing area on this. But it's definitely the Commodore 64 tape. And last but not least, Hacker 2, which looks like it was originally on the Amstrad. <laughs> Uh, yes, it even says Amstrad there. So I wonder if this ever got recorded. Um, I don't know. I'll have to check some of these out on my Amstrad, see if they still work. Um, hmm. So that's the budget lot. But now we get um, some light gun games. Unfortunately, I can't use my light gun because I don't have an old CRT TV anymore. But we have Army Days. Yep, these have got to be genuine Commodore 64 copies, or well, not copies, originals. Gangster. Yep, tire tape. Original tape. Time Traveller. Yep, tape's fine. And look what we have here! Ha <laughs> ha! The Commodore 64 introductory audio tape can you see that yeah anyway so this is basic mind benders introductory audio tape oh. Commodore 64 one to eight cassette it's an audio tape so why would it say that I don't know there's a load of games here but now now there's more <laughs> I've got a bunch of cassettes here. Well, it looks like they've been pirated. 
So we're going to go through these. Oh dear. I could get in trouble here now. Who cares? This bloody years old now. But actually, no, this is an original tape. This is original tape, but obviously down the line, it's the cassettes, the actual case has gone missing. This is chromosome. We got on here, iridium and short circuit. Well, you can tell that straight away, that's pirated. Um, yeah. Professional ski simulator, professional snooker simulator, Rainbow Island. I don't know why there's Rainbow Island on here, because we've got the original. So one of these story tapes again. Oh, I didn't like their story tapes by the looks of it. Now that's, oh, look at this. An old cassette here. And we have one here, Bedlam, Tubin, Bomb Jack, Buggy Boy, Jet Set Woody, Paper Boy, Operation Wolf, Spy Hunter, Pit Stop 2, Monty on the Run, Bruce Lee, Fist, Street Surfer, Dan Dare 2, Ghostbusters and Kickstart. Some of them are already there, so I don't know why that's what it is on Pirate. And ooh, Scotched, a Scotch cassette, re-recall, not fade away, <laughs> Games Tape 2. Ooh, okay. So what do we have on here? KGB Super Spy, Transformers, Kane 2, Night Racer, Football Manager, Humdinger, Dickies Diamonds, Blood Brothers, Triaxis, Cosmic Causeway, Cybernoid, Cybernoid 2, Light Force, Excellent, Excellent, or whatever that is, can't really see that. Eliminator and Sanction. Naughty Naughty. Games Tape 3. Oh, it's one of these story tapes again. You can even see the old being bunged up. <laughs> Highway. Oh, excuse me. Highway Encounter, West Bank, Gyropod, Formula One Simulator, and Phantoms of the Asteroids. Never heard of that one. Okay. An old cassette, an old Memorex um, 60 minute cassette here. <laughs> what do we have on here? First Blood Part 2, Miami Vice, Space Area, Commando, Raw Recruit, and on the other side, the Rocky Horror Show and the Goonies. Okay. And what do we have here? Hmm, interesting. An Acme C90 cassette. Acme. Was that the one in Road Runner, weren't it? Anyway. Who Dares Wins 2? Trap. What's that? Basket Master, Championship Sprint and Supercars. Oh, I've got some of them in there. I've got the original, so I don't know why. I, I don't, honestly don't know how this, this works. I really don't. We are the champions. This ain't a compilation. Yeah, it is. Renegade IK Plus, Rampage, Super Sprint and um, the Tracks. And on the other side, why have we got the same thing on the other side and all? Well, I have no idea. But this is We Are the Champions, which I've already which is over there, so I don't understand that. And here! Ha ha ha! Robocop! On uh what looks like might have been an Amstrad old cassette. It had a game on it. It was probably looked like an old Mastertronic game by the looks of it. I don't know what it was, it's all been tipexed out. Um so what do we have here? Thunderblade, Thunderblade stages. And what do we have here? Um, a Boot C15 computer cassette. <laughs> wow. Right, what do we have here? So we have Zaxxon and Void Runner. And it looks like that was a, definitely a Codemasters game. Don't know what that could have been. So we got Zaxxon and Void Runner. Naughty, naughty. Super Monaco Grand Prix on a Boots cassette. Say no more. Okay. Chase HQ on a on a premium grade Furric computer tape. C15 from WH Smiths. I have to say Chase HQ for the Commodore 64 was shit. The Amstrad first version was much better. 
Um, Dragon Spirit and Dragon Spirit stages. Once again, it looks like that was on an old Amstrad cassette. I don't know what it was. That was Amstrad. Anyone watching out there owns an Amstrad, I'm sorry, okay? It was a long time ago. You're probably getting pissed off on me now. <gasps> you recorded over the Amstrad. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, okay? My Amstrad broke. I was getting fed up. I had two of them. Um, what do we have here? New Zealand story on one of these old story tapes. <laughs> oh, God. Time tunnel. Now, I can't really tell if that was an original cassette or a recording because it looks like the label's come off. So, I don't know. The, the, the tape actually looks pretty small. So, it makes me think that could have been actually the original tape. Raid over Moscow. Actually, that is the original tape. Commodore 64 looks like one of the oldest. Looks like an old, the original Raid Over Moscow tape. Ooh. Okay, what do we have here? Cavalon. Now, this was the original. Cavalon. Got a review on that. And what do we have here? Oh, I don't know what's on this. I don't know, it's an old story tape, but I don't know what's on it. Perhaps I need to check it. That over here. Oh, some more. <laughs> well, it's the same. I haven't been through all these yet. So this is all live stuff. What I'm going through now. Oh, we have some more recordings. <laughs> um, another one of these old Acme tapes. Um, so what do we have? Strip poker. Yes. Strip poker part two. Crazy cars. Double dragon. And on the other side we have. Yeha Kung Fu, I think that is. Grand Prix. Don't know what that is. Okay. And Games Tape 7. So what do we have here? Another Acme Tape. Um, 720, Rolling Thunder, California Games, and on the other side, Solo Flight, Henley, Emily News International Soccer. Okay. <coughs> Games tape six. Oh, we have another Acme tape. And um, what do we have here? Bounder image system. Simpsons Bart versus the Space Mutants. Well, we got that. And on the other side, we have Game Over and Mike Reed's Pop Quiz. Hmm. So, what else we have? We have another. Oh, Memorex DBS 60 minute cassette. <laughs> so, we have Deflector. North Star, Masters of the Universe, Hercules, Avenger, Future Knight, Crackout, and Trailblazer. Okay. So we have a, a WH Smith's Super Cassette C90. A Super Cassette. I'm so fucking super about it. Um, so we. <laughs> <laughs> Dandy, Super Spring, Ghostbusters, which I've already seen. Um, ISS, whatever that is. Ace 2088, or was it 83? I don't know. GB Air Rally, Star Raiders 2, Wonder Boy, Championship, Football, Fire Trap, and on side B, we have Afterburner. What do we have here? Another story tape! You must love these story tapes if you recorded over them. Galactic Games. I don't remember that. And Ninja. I don't know what that was. Right, what do we have here? Um, shoot 'em up construction kit. Target Renegade. Yeah, Target Renegade and Shoot 'em up construction kit. Uh, slop. Tribble. Outlaw. Black Cirque, Tran Man, Sleb Squares. Dunno, never heard of them. Oh, the shoot them up construction kit. <laughs> what do we have? Another Memorix DBS 60 cassette. Ooh, so what are we on this? Enduro Racer, Guardian 8, is that Guardian Canal or 
Angel, Nightmare, I have seen Nightmare, and on the other side we have Blaze Out, interesting, so we have a C15 computer cassette, which has Scaletrics, Scaletrics, and on the other side Foal Danny, what the hell is that? Right, what do we have here? It says Skate Crazy on this. League Challenge. And this looks like an old, maybe an Amstrad cassette, because it's actually been blacked out by a pet. This used to be Weckley Mons for the Amstrad. <laughs> Can you just see through it? Um, so what do we have here? One of these story tapes again. So, Decathlon and Jump Challenge. Okay. We have a bunch of games on here. On a Memorex DBS 90 cassette. Ooh. So what do we have on here? Angle Ball, Beachhead, Super Stump Man, KGB Super Spire, Super Tank, Super Hero, Swift, Demo, Mini Zork. And on the other side we have Weck Le Mans, Rally Driver, End Zone, Run for Gold, Soccer Boss, Aliens, Basketball, Prodigy, Mermaid Madness, Hacker 2, Explorer and Spin Dizzy. Okay, that's interesting. On here, B-Tech Computer Cassette, C15. Shoot em up construction... I thought I fucking said it! No way! No fucking way! No one in the world has got this game. No one in the world will have this game. This is the Grumix in space. This is the game that me and my mate created on Shoot'em Up Construction Kit. Ah, oh, fucking, I hope that works. Alright, this is Grumix in space. Open file. Groomix in space. What does that mean? There's two two versions of it. No, we only got Groomix in space full game. Groomix in space open file. Well, I can only imagine what that open file means. Probably the the file what we created and when we turn it then we you can compute. I don't know. It turns you can save it so it loads up properly on the Commodore 64, I guess. Groomix in space. No way! That's got to be trial. I'm going to keep that to one side. I'm going to definitely try that on the Commodore. Oh, I've got to see that after all these years. Oh, I've got to see it. It's probably a, it's going to, it is a load of shit. Of course it's going to be a load of shit, but it's my shit. <laughs> well, me and my mate's shit anyway, so... <laughs> that's, 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 that's just brilliant. Unfortunately, I don't have my game that I create. I think that went with my, my own Commodore 64, but... I'm surprised you kept that. I, I'm really happy that perhaps I might have had a copy myself, but I don't know. But that, that is just brilliant. I've got to try that. Maybe do a review on it. Don't know how. Unless I can get, how would I get this to work in an emulator? I doubt if I can. I'll have to rig my. Oh, anyway, I'll worry about that later. What do we have here? Play along album. Music maker. No! I can make sick tunes! And now sound fucking bad because I'm making them. That's interesting. I've got to try that out. No. Wow. That is just. Oh my god. I'm sorry, this video is going on for a fucking while, so I hope I ain't boring anyone. You can fucking switch off whenever you want. Fucking hell. But we got some more. They're just cassettes on its own. We're almost there. Blaze out. Robocop, Combat School, Hypersports, Platoon and Rambo 3. This, no idea what's on that. This, same thing, that looks all totally... This, I don't know, same thing, we used to have Ninja Remix, the last Ninja 3 on it. I don't know if it still does, but I may have to give these a try. No, there's nothing on that. Don't know what's on that. We have here WWF Wrestling. WWF Wrestling Stages. What's on there? Obviously, 
you know, fire fucking wrestling anyway. What's on this? Oh, Mastertronic, Mod Motormike Madness. But uh, looks like it was an originally an abstract cassette. And Computer Hits 4. Mm, don't say no more about that. But that's it. That's all the games for the Commodore 64. Oh yeah, I've got that and all the mouse for the Commodore 64, which I'll do that in another video maybe. Yeah, so <laughs> a lot of surprises. There's a few surprises there actually. Um, after seeing some of the... Then I realised, bloody hell, that was my old Amstrad cassette. But I honestly still don't know to this day how my mate got hold of them. Because to me, I should have had the Amstrad versions. Um... Because I owned an Amstrad, he didn't. So there you go. That's a mystery. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty gamey all that lot. Though. So now I'll find some time to actually go through all the tapes now, see if they work or not. I've tested a couple. Um, as so I've tested the joysticks, some, most of them work, some of them don't. There you go. But yeah, very, very happy about that. Especially finding my one of my old games. My old games that I did with my mate, Groomix in Space. I've got to play that. Hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to do a review on it. Um, but don't expect too much because I know the game ain't going to be great, especially if it's done on shoot 'em up construction kit. Anyway, I think this video has gone on long, on long enough. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you bothered sticking with it, um, I will do some more reviews. Yeah, nothing's going to change. Anyway, thank you and goodbye.